Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's question is, how do I deal with my partner who continually checks out other women? So today's question is from Christine. She says, I have been living with my boyfriend for three years. During that time, he has continually checked out other women while in my presence. And it is so disrespectful. I've mentioned my annoyance to him many times and he just says, what's your problem? There's no harm in looking at other women. You're the one I come home to every day. I'm not sure how much longer I can deal with this or the sympathetic looks I get from these other women. I don't know what else to do and I'm, not, I'm now at the stage of walking away. Thanks to you for any thoughts you might have regarding this issue I'm experiencing. Thank you, Christine. This is something that many people have dealt with in their relationships and we're always going to be attracted to other people even if we are with somebody that we truly love. There's just a natural attraction that happens when you walk by people or you're in a room with them and you just have a connection with somebody. But it's how you handle this that is the most important thing here. You can be discreet and look at somebody that you walk by and say, wow, that's an attractive person, that they look really nice, or wow, I like the way they're put together, you know, these kind of things. But you don't have to mention it to your partner or make it obvious to your partner. And it's not okay to say to the person that you love, hey, well, get over it, you know, take it or leave it, this is what I'm doing, and if you don't like it, oh, too bad. That's not a good way to be with somebody that you're in a romantic, loving partnership with. You shouldn't make them feel like they're always questioning your relationship. Why are you always checking everybody out and making it so obvious? The fact that these other women are giving you sympathetic looks just goes to show how obvious your boyfriend is making this. The one thing that really concerns me here is that your boyfriend's been doing this pretty much since you met him three years ago. And he doesn't think there's any problems with it. You have addressed it to him and he's continuing to do so. So this is where you're stuck because you say to yourself, if I'm with this man for the rest of my life, I'm committed to him, am I gonna be able to handle this for this length of time? And there's always that situation where people say, well, you know, I'm just looking. But I always equate it to when you go by the bakery and you keep staring at the chocolate eclair in the window. One day temptation gets the better of you and you go in and you buy it. This is a thing that people don't understand. They think that they're immune to stepping outside of their relationship. But sometimes it happens and the more that you allow yourself to engage in flirtation or just checking people out and thinking it's okay in front of your partner, Sometimes it does happen that they do venture out in that direction. And I understand why you're concerned here, Christine, because it's not a nice place to be when your boyfriend is with you and embarrassing you and the other women are looking at you and saying, what is with this guy? And that's what they're doing. And your boyfriend's answer is basically, well, get over it. You don't have to get over it. And it sounds like you're at the end of your rope here and you've mentioned it to him. I think you have to sit down and say to yourself, what am I getting out of this relationship? If he feels the need to have to always look at other people, other women, and make it obvious, what is his reasoning behind all that? Why can't he discreetly look at a woman he finds attractive? I'm sure if the situation was reversed, he probably wouldn't be okay with it. I don't know if you've ever done that or said something about another guy when you're walking by them to your, your partner, but I'd be interested to see how he reacts to that because sometimes people don't know what it's like until the shoe is on the other foot, until they're experiencing what you're experiencing. You're definitely not feeling heard by him and the fact that you say you're pretty much ready to walk out the door means that this is a deal breaker for you. And I think it would be for a lot of people. It certainly would be for me because I wouldn't disrespect my husband by doing that. I might say if we're at a party, wow, that, 
they're an attractive couple, he's very handsome or something along those lines, but it would never be sort of lecherous looking at somebody or, or flirting with them with my eyes or whatever. I would never do that because I respect my partner. And this is where you're feeling not validated. You're not feeling that he's hearing what you're saying and he's dismissing it and actually belittling your concern about this. Healthy relationships are about reciprocated respect. You're respecting him and not doing that to him, but he's not listening to your concerns here. And so now after three years, it's becoming a ongoing problem that is starting to really piss you off. So maybe this is the time to tell him, give him one last situation and say to him, I just don't think I can do this anymore. I just feel like really disrespected by your actions. You're not hearing me, you're not validating my feelings. And I just don't know what else I can do in this situation. It's not enough for me. My self-esteem is being played upon here. And I almost feel like you're rubbing it in my face by continuing to do so. You're not changing anything about this problem. Maybe go see a counselor together if he's open to that. If he isn't open to it, he's continuing to, to stare at other women whenever you're out together then I think you'll have your answer that he's just not willing to compromise. He's not willing to change. And we can't force someone to be who they're not. You have to nurture the love you have together, not be sitting here making your partner feel insecure every time you step outside with them. And we all want to feel heard. We all want to feel that our thoughts and our feelings mean something to our partner. When you're constantly, sh your feelings and all that are just shrugged away, it leaves a hole in your relationship. It takes the trust away. It takes the love in a different direction because you don't feel that you're getting it back from your partner. If he's not willing to make any changes, Christine, I think it'll be up to you to make the appropriate changes that work for you because it's your life too. You're in a partnership, but you're not really feeling like you're in a partnership. You feel like it's you doing all the compromising, letting all the stuff go that's making you sad. So please keep me posted on what transpires. Thank you so much for writing. I hope everything works out for you. And if it doesn't, I hope you find the love that you deserve because you obviously know you deserve it. Thank you so much, everyone. Please subscribe. Please click like on the video and leave any of your comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.